Hey there, we're going to read The Very Frustrated Monster by Andy Green. This is Twitch, the monster of frustration. Have you ever had a day when nothing goes right and you wonder, why me, from morning to night? Well, a monster named Twitch was having that day. Everything around him seemed to go the wrong way. It started at sunrise. His alarm didn't ring and thus began a day filled with frustrating things. He stubbed his two toes as he jumped out of bed, tripped on his backpack, and bumped his horned head. For breakfast, Twitch wanted wheat toast and woo tea, but the bread was all gone. How could this be? So he left without eating, locked his keys in the house, then saw that his bread had been snatched by a mouse. Twitch became quite upset and he made a big fuss. To add to his troubles, he was late for his bus. Though he ran very fast to get to the stop, his ride passed him by. Twitch was ready to pop to calm himself down, Twitch counted to 10. He took four deep breaths and began once again. Yet he wouldn't, just couldn't let anything go, which made his frustration continue to grow. Twitch walked into school, filled to the brim with all of the feelings that were bothering him. He sat in his chair and tapped both his feet. Twitch tried to sit still, but he bounced in his seat. An emotional volcano bubbled within. The pressure Twitch felt seemed to make his world spin. The grass was too green. The sun was too bright. His lunch tasted funny. His gym shorts were tight. And it, was on and it only got worse at the school sing-along. Twitch froze up on stage and the words came out wrong. When handed a prize, Twitch became very flushed. He wasn't first place, now his spirits were crushed. While his classmates applauded, whistled and grinned, Twitch bristled and brewed and let frustration win. He threw down his ribbon and yelled at his peers. Twitch was so overwhelmed that he broke into tears. His friends scurried off as fast as they could, cause a frustrated Twitch was never good. Why me? It's not fair, he went on to complain, as he looked all around to find someone to blame. But alone Twitch did stand, there was nobody else. His monstrous ways had left him all by himself. I give up, Twitch said softly, as sad as could be. Then he noticed a squirrel running up a big tree. It was carrying acorns from the ground to its nest. When some fell down, it went back for the rest. And the nuts that were cracked or scattered from the fall didn't stop the small squirrel, didn't stop it at all. The squirrel may have been flustered when things went awry, but it brushed itself off and continued to try. For this bushy-tailed creature knew it couldn't control the wind or the rain that might make the nuts roll. And the harder it worked, the more Twitch could see that life's little frustrations are what make, are what you make them to be. You can let them upset you and spoil your day, or you can turn things around in a positive way. The following morning, Twitch woke up on time and apologized to his friends for acting unkind. He showed off his ribbon as proud as could be and then hung it from a branch on the squirrel's favorite tree. The end. See you next time.